everyone, welcome to the Harmonica Barge. Today is a special lesson because I wanted to talk about the folk blues genius of Sonny Terry. For anyone who's never heard of Sonny Terry, you must have heard of him, right? He started playing harmonica on the streets to earn a living. A very quirky harmonica player in many ways, extremely rhythmic, you could say rhythmically a genius, completely his own style. But for me, a wonderful, joyful musician who plays a wide variety of music, not just blues. And that's why I wanted to call the lesson the folk blues, because I think Sonny Terry is often coming from a folk mindset when he's playing his music, regardless of whether it's blues, ragtime or anything else. Today's lesson is linked to my Sonny Terry in depth lesson where I want to really get into detail about the techniques and the creativity. So do click below if you're interested in that. So Sonny Terry is known for being a country blues musician. Country blues is a kind of catch all term. I believe it was coined by Alan Lomax, the folklorist, song collector and ethnomusicologist. And he used it just to describe any rural blues. So anything which is more acoustic, but that's very general. You could also think of Sonny Terry as a Piedmont blues player. So more of that East Coast style that has its roots in ragtime and other styles. But the, if we think about the country blues pattern, you've, we've got this generic sort of <laughs> amongst harmonica players. So we say, oh, I'll play a country blues. And it's almost like we go right to this pattern. And I do think Sonny Terry plays so many of these and he's almost characterize this groove in a way that everyone else has copied it. So let's just break that down a little bit. And what I want to do today, I'm not going to give you 50 Sonny Terry licks, because for me, Sonny Terry is all about the groove and getting your foot tapping and putting a smile on your face. I just feel the joy coming out of his rhythm and his harmonica playing. So if we take this groove, slow it down a little bit and we're just going to strip it back to its bare essentials. So first of all I'm just doing two draw chords in. I'm on holes one, two, three. If you get a bit of four in there that's cool. For anyone new to playing chords don't let your mouth go so far that you miss out hole one and you might want to just shoot over to the left a little bit more than you think you need to to make sure you catch that whole one. And then go, we're gonna go two chords in, two in, one out, one in. Easy, right? Well, you might think that's easy, and it is, but actually, can you just, before we get into any more detail, can you just make that groove on its own? There's many techniques you can use with articulation, and I go into these in a lot more detail in the in-depth lesson. Personally, I kind of like to start without any articulation. I'm just doing a relaxed breath. I want to really relax, and I want to open my throat with a little uh, uh, uh. Imagine breathing in with a uh. So I'm making it resonant. Once you've got the resonant sound, you can add a little curve if that helps. Maybe a little accent on the out breath, just to sort of nail the backbeat a little bit. One and two and one and two and. We could sort of say rhythmically, this has got a two feel, this rhythm. So we're like one and two, one and two, especially when you get faster. One and two, one and two, one and two, just because it's easier to count that way. So we've got that accent. If the breathing is struggling and you're filling up, Try letting a bit of air out when you breathe out around the hop. Bit of a sloppy embouchure, breathing out around the harmonica. You could get a bit out of your nose as well at the same time. It's kind of tricky to do. You can feel if you're breathing out your nose. Don't blow too hard out your nose, just that'll make a mess. 
So let's take our groove now. And on the second chord in, all we're going to do is turn that into a double. And once again, you might think of that as an articulation, but for now I'll say just do it as two breaths. If you're really filling up with air, try a little cut. I know the temptation is to want is to go fast, but I recommend trying to get it relaxed, at a nice steady speed, a nice grooving speed. If you can tap your foot. I know I'm clicking my fingers, but tapping the foot will make the camera shake. So imagine that's my foot. I would recommend doing that, recording yourself, listening back. Is it grooving? Are you feeling, do you want to do that when you hear it? final icing on the cake the second time we can do an extra in breath so we go oh, I'm getting carried away again sorry sorry this is I love this groove so much so have a go at this. I hope you get on with the groove. I really recommend just going slowly, taking your time, trying to get the breathing nice and relaxed. For those who want the in-depth lesson, do click on the link below. I've got variations on the groove. I recommend certain speeds to practice this at, different articulations. There's extra licks as well, particularly some Sonny Terry signature licks. So do check that out if you want more detail. And I'll be back for another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye bye.